Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you some exciting news. My friend Amy, who is my teddy boo here on YouTube, just opened up a shop and I'm so excited for her and she even asked me to be a guest designer for her store. So I'm gonna be working with a couple collections and making some projects um, to share with you guys. So I will have her channel linked down below as well as her shop, of course, so you guys can go and check it out. And she sent me two collections to play with. So thank you so much, Amy. I truly appreciate this. And you're just so kind. I cannot wait to start creating. I haven't crafted in so long. So I'm already getting ideas for these awesome things that you sent me. And yeah, like I said, definitely go check out Amy's shop as well as her YouTube channel. Before I get started into this, she sent me some goodies to play with. So I don't have any tool and, well like this anyway, and I just think this would be so pretty for um, some uh, rosettes, sorry. <laughs> Lost my mind for a second. Um, this would be really pretty for rosettes. So you can either do the silver side or the gold side. You know, if you just die cut a circle out of these and layer them on some rosettes. And she also sent me um, some in white. So thank you so much, Amy. She also sent me this rotary phrase stamp set from American Crafts, and it's got Halloween phrases on it. I love this so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's, you guys, I love Halloween. I love Halloween. She also sent me these Christmas brads. I would love to work with brads more. I feel like they're kind of underrated, and I bet you there's a really cool project that I could come up with where I use them. So I love the little fonts and everything. And I love that this one looks like a little peppermint. So adorable. So thank you so much for these, Amy. Super, super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys the Say Cheese Halloween Collection. And you guys wanna know the first thing that came to my mind? Thanks a lot, Simple Stories. I already made my album, <laughs> uh, my Disney album, when I went to Disneyland for Halloween a couple years ago. So, this is the collection kit. And already, I'm loving the colors. I love Hocus Pocus colors, and if you don't know what that is, to me, the Hocus Pocus colors are orange, purple, black, and green. So I'm loving these colors, and I'm gonna show you guys what comes in this kit. So like I said, this is the Collector's Essential Kit. It includes 185 pieces. So you get eight sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided paper. You get 12 by 12 cardstock stickers. So in that, you get 86 stickers. You get the die cuts. So this little pack of die cuts where you get 62 pieces. And you get the six by 12 chipboard stickers and that you get 25 of them. So I'm gonna go through the paper line with you first. So this design is called Spooktacular, and then on the back, you have all these graves. So you have, I'm a goner, I am a spook, candy stealer, my remains. Oh, they're just so adorable, so cheesy, but so cute. So I love that. Then you get this one that's called So Creepy with polka dots, and on the back, is a purple background with black spiders. I love, love it. I love purple in case you guys already, <laughs> already couldn't tell by my background and my nails and everything. Um, this is an orange background with black bats and this is called Frankly Frightful. On the back of that, of course, you have the classic black and white stripe that goes with any and everything. So then this page is called Boo To You and it's a bunch of cute sugar skulls for Day of the Dead. This goes perfect because if you guys have never seen the movie Coco, one, you're missing out, and two, this would go perfectly. Um, I do know they have at DCA uh, California Adventure, they do have a little show where you see Miguel and um, all the skeletons come out and it's just so cool. So I think this would be perfect for that if you wanted to do a little layout for that. I love the movie Coco. One of my top favorite Disney movies and it made me cry like a baby, like uncontrollably. Great movie. So on the back of that, you have these stripes. The next page 
is called Fabulous and it's got a bunch of balloons. So really cute because you guys know Disneyland has like the best balloons ever. They light up, they're so pretty, they have such cute designs, they're really expensive, but nonetheless, you're at Disney and if you are gonna get a balloon, what better way than to document it with this cute balloon paper. On the back of that, you have these creepy eyes with a green background, all different kinds of eyes, really, really funny. This next sheet is called Hey Pumpkin. You have a blue background with all these cute little different jack-o'-lanterns. And then on the back of that, you have this orange background with the white polka dots. So on the next page, you have a black background and you have all these icons of hoodies and teacups and pumpkins and you have the castle with the spider web they also have an album that goes with this and this is the cover i think this is actually my favorite page and then on the back of that you have a white background with all the different polka dots and polka dots inside those polka dots so i think that is so so cute the next page is called not so scary you have a black background with all these words Halloween, eek, spooky, magic, boo. And then if you can see real close, there's like tiny little stars. On the back of that, you have like a blue background with all these polka dots. This next one is called Two by Two Elements. And this is great because if you do the snap album um, and you use all the clear pocket pages, they do have a clear pocket page that has um, spots where you could fit two by two little cards and you could cut this up and use them in that. So you have all these images and phrases, squad ghouls, hey pumpkin, spooky fun, not so scary, magic, and all these cute little trick-or-treaters. And on the back of that is a purple and white stripe. So next you have three by four elements. And these are just three by four cut apart cards. So you have pumpkins, trick-or-treaters, I love Halloween, boo, this coffin, the Mickey head with the spider web inside. Just really, really cute. I love the trick-or-treaters. And on the back you have this plaid. So. I love that. And then you also get four by four elements. So these are four by four cut apart cards. So you have this one that says add a little hocus pocus with the cauldron. You have these little potion bottles, the castle with the fireworks. Um, you got me under your spell, more trick or treaters, not so scary. And on the back of that is fireworks. So Disneyland does do Halloween fireworks. So I feel like this would be perfect for that. And then last but not least, you get four by six elements. So these are four by six cut aparts. So you get the trick-or-treaters. I love this cute little garland um, on the top of that page. I love this little scenery right here. <sighs> so cute. And then this card says trick-or-treat. On the back of that, I love this. This is all tickets. So this says free wish, um, ticket, ticket for one, admit to, me and you, and just really, really cute sayings inside the tickets and an orange background. So next I'm gonna show you this sticker sheet. So this is the sticker sheet. These are great for adding to photos or if you wanna make embellishments and add them to that. Really adorable. I love these tabs because these are great for albums. I love this little garland, like I said. Super adorable, so there's that. And then I'm gonna show you the chipboard stickers as well. So you get the teacup, an autograph book, more trick-or-treaters, not so scary, spooky. And then these are the bits and pieces. So this is what you get. I love this little Mickey Mouse drink and the Halloween hoodie. That's like oh, my two favorite. So adorable. And then the other paper collection she sent me was a pretty popular one this year, and it was called Hey Pumpkin by Crate Paper. I know a lot of you guys have probably already seen this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys anyways. So she sent me the 12 by 12 paper pads, got 48 sheets. This is what it looks like. So these are the cut aparts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through this with you really quick. So these are not double-sided, but Look at all the awesome prints you get. I love anything spider web. This orange graph paper, almost. This is cute, this is probably one of my favorite pages. With the ghosties. 
this black one right here with little zigzags, almost looks like teeth. <laughs> this one with all the little polka dots. This candy corn one that I love, because I love candy corn. These houses, which I also love because like I said, I love haunted houses and all that imagery. So you get the houses, the trick-or-treaters, the spooky trees, really cute. This one has an orange background with white stars. This one is black cats. This one is a white background with black polka dots. This one's an orange background, like a, almost like a light, like a pale orange with orange big painted polka dots. This one is cut apart. So everything is numbered. This is cute if you do October Daily and you do do that uh, snap album um, from Simple Stories. You could definitely fit these in the two by two pockets. Um, get costumes, carved pumpkins, freight night. It's almost Halloween costume party. Really, really cute. I love this page. Um, this says eek and boo. This is another one of my favorites, the orange background with the little jack-o'-lantern faces. Then you have a blue background with all the little Halloween characters. So the mummy, which I just love. He's so adorable. The witch, the Frankenstein, bats, candy corn, pumpkins, owls. Then you have this one with the stripes. This one is cut aparts as well. So you get all different kinds. So um, you have some on this side over here and then on this side, and then you have these in the center. So look on the spooky side. I love you so much, it's scary. Broom hair, don't care. Pumpkin spice on my mind. This one is a black background with dark black polka dots. I love this one as well. It's a white background with black stars and moons. This one is another one of my favorites. It's a black background with just a bunch of eeks. So cute. I love this one because it's like hand painted with the orange and black stripes. This one is cute too. Um, it's a white background with black dots. It's also got these little tiny uh, booty phrases all over it. And then that's it. So, so that is the paper collection. She also sent me the stickers. So this collection has a lot of hollow, holographic um, finishes to it. So you get the little trick-or-treater guy. I love this banner, the Polaroid. This skeleton is so cute. And on the back, you have like a little um, holographic banner, some phrases, more characters. I love this, this is so cute. And then I love these little tickets that say Fright Night and Spooky Night. So there's that. They also have holographic stickers with this collection or thickers. So this one says Happy Halloween, Eek, October, Trick or Treat, Candy, Spooky Night. And on the, on the back you have more of like shapes and things. So um, you get the cat, the moon, Hocus Pocus, Eek, Halloween, you get a witch hat, just really, really cute. And if you like that holographic finish to it, there's a lot of that in this collection. I also got the chipboard stickers already. I'm looking at this house. It's my favorite. <laughs> um, I love these because these are great to layer on mini albums, like on the cover. Um, if you wanna make embellishments or anything like that, add them to your October daily. So this is so cute. I think I want to make an album with this collection. I also have the washi tape that goes with this. This washi tape says Boo and Eek. This one has holographic spider web, um, black cats, holographic stars, the trick or treaters. This one says trick or treat, the pumpkins, and then the orange stripe. I was also sent the puffy stickers. So these are really cute, especially if you want to do something small, like maybe a pocket letter or something and do like decorate like a card or an ATC or something. These are really cute. So um, you get little ghosts and houses, everything basically just on a smaller scale and you get about 55 of those. She also sent me the sticker set. So you get four sheets of stickers. 
So you get these on the front. On the back, you have these glitter ones. So you get glittery bats, um, pumpkins, stars, witch hats. This one is phrases and spider webs. And then on the back of that, you get phrases down here. And then look at all the holographic moons and stars. Really, really cute. So there's that. She also sent me these, and I know a lot of people are going crazy over these. These are the ghost tassels. So you can make a little banner out of these. Um, they're basically um, little ghosties that have crepe paper on the half of them, on the bottom half, and they are cut to have like fringes. So they're just really, really cute, and you get 10 of them, so you can do whatever you want with them. Um, but they have like a little banner as the example on the back. So she sent me those. She also sent me the 40 piece ephemera set and it even comes with little sequins. So and it comes with journaling cards as well. So this is what you get inside. Last but not least, she sent me the six by eight paper pad. So this paper pad has the holographic treatments. The 12 by 12 doesn't. So the first thing you see in the six by eight paper pad is this cute October calendar. It's not double-sided, but everything is basically shrunk down to six by eight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through it for you. See, this one has holographic um, spider web. This, sometimes you'll get um, patterns that are not available in the 12 by 12. So like we didn't see this design in the 12 by 12 paper pad. So it's like orange with chevron. It's just a white background with the yellow stars. Here's holographic stars on the orange background. This is holographic. So if you remember from the 12 by 12, these little words uh, were orange in the six by eight paper pad, they're holographic. I know some people really like the holographic, so. And then this is holographic, the candy corn page. The eeks are holographic, which I actually really like. That's really cute. This big trick or treat, that's really cute. And then that's the six by eight. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go check out Amy's shop as well as her YouTube channel. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. Um, she's super sweet. Like I said, thank you so much, Amy, for sending me all these goodies to play with. I can't wait to start crafting. And I think I wanna make a mini album with this. I've been really into mini albums lately, so we'll see what I do, but definitely go check out those links. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.